the protect, about protecting Robert Mueller and his investigation, and how we get from the Mueller investigation to what is the most important thing, which is safeguarding our elections, both the one that's happening now and then the one in uh, uh, 2020. Uh, so there are lots of issues like that we should be discussing. I'm happy to talk about all of them. It is um, the Judiciary Committee tends to be a little more partisan than other committees in the House. That's uh, it doesn't need to be that way. That's the way it, it tends to break down. Uh, we have lots of hearings on Hillary Clinton and Peter Strzok and the Justice Department, or the FBI investigation. That's really been the focus of leadership. I think we've missed the opportunity to do the work we're supposed to. Anyway, happy to talk about that. I also serve on the Foreign Affairs Committee, which, unlike the Judiciary Committee, uh, tends to be, I, I think, arguably the least, actually the second least partisan committee in Congress. I'll, I also serve on the least partisan committee, which I'll talk about. The Foreign Affairs Committee um, is the committee that deals with America's face toward the world. The, uh, we are the committee that provides oversight of the State Department, that works to, to uh, ensure that our needs are met around the world, that when we interact with other countries, when we, uh, when we relate to other countries, that uh, we're focusing on America's priorities. Uh, this is the committee where, uh, where respect for human rights matters, certainly to most of the members. Uh, this is the committee that, that uh, debates foreign assistance and, um, and focuses on the threats of, of terror. Uh, we spend a lot of time looking these days, especially at Syria. I'm the ranking member of the top Democrat of the Middle East subcommittee, so everything having to do with with Syria and Iran, the U.S.-Israel relationship, all of that is in front of my subcommittee. Uh, these are issues I work on regularly, and again, happy to answer questions on, on any of that. And then finally, I serve on the Ethics Committee. I'm the senior Democrat on the Ethics Committee, the ranking member. Uh, this is not really a political speech, but I will make the observation that if the Democrats retake the House majority, uh, I expect to serve as the chairman of the House Ethics Committee, this is the uh, this is the committee that's tasked with enforcing the rules of the House. Um, the past two years, because of the Me Too movement and a number of uh, very courageous women who have come forward, the Ethics Committee uh, proceeded to, to launch investigations and take action against a number of our colleagues, uh, many of whom have either retired or resigned, uh, because of actions surrounding sexual harassment and hostile work environment. Um, it's a really, it's important work that we do, and I will tell you, uh, it's the only committee in Congress that is evenly split between Democrats and Republicans, five of each, and every vote that we take, every one, we try as hard as we can uh, to ensure that it is a unanimous vote, because we don't want anyone suggesting that the action that we take against other members is uh, in any way informed by partisanship. 